Hi everyone, welcome to another PSDVault.com tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to create some really interesting hair-like abstract lines. So getting started on our black canvas here, what I'm going to be doing is on the new layer, I'm going to be using the pen tool and we're going to be drawing a curve. So we just click once and drag the pen in the direction we want the curve to be click again somewhere else where we want the end of the curve to be and drag away from it and that'll create that nice curved line. And I'm going to flip over to the brush tool and select a one pixel brush and we're going to go back to the pen tool and stroke the line there and of course we're using a nice bright color. And now I'm going to be adding another three lines along this similar sort of curve here the second line is going to be two pixels wide with the brush, the third line is going to be three pixels wide, the fourth line is going to be four pixels wide. Don't forget when you do the stroking of the path there that you use the simulate pressure option and that way the brush stroke will be faded at both ends. And then for three of these layers, I'm going to be making their opacities to be 40, 60 and 80 percent respectively. Now what I want to do is put these four hair layers that I just made into their own group to allow for easy duplication. So I've dragged them all into the group there. Now I want to duplicate that group. And this is for the purposes of instead of drawing all those lines all over again, just going to duplicate it, set the new group to have a lower opacity. And it looks like we've got twice the number of lines that we actually made. Now what I'm going to do is merge that group into a single layer. I'm going to duplicate that a couple of times and just drag those around. Again building up the hair here. So I've put a couple of those duplicated layers down into the lines group but I've left one out there and called it something slightly different because what I want to do now is colorize it. So we'll create a new adjustment layer with hue and saturation and we want to use the previous layer to create a clipping mask otherwise the color will be adjusting all of them instead of just this one layer. So I'm going to make this one a bit of a purpley color there. And what I want to do is reposition that hair around a little bit. So you've got to make sure you choose the layer there instead of the clipping mask. And we'll turn on the free transform as well to shape it slightly differently. That's Control T on the keyboard. And when you're happy with the position, just select the layer and the mask and duplicate them. And again, highlight the layer and move that to where you want it. Again, turning on the free transform and moving it to where you want it to be. So 
So I've duplicated the purple lines another couple of times. And I made some green ones. Put them into their own group there. I've also added a grey desaturated hair layer there. So now I'm going to merge all those together. And rename it. And then what I want to do is duplicate this a bunch of times and move it around. So obviously with this abstract, it's just a matter of duplicating them without much rhyme or reason, positioning them around whatever looks good. And that's pretty much it for the hair. Now we want to do is just add a little bit of bling to it, I guess. So I've created myself a new brush. And the brush has got these options here. So it's just a one pixel brush. The shape dynamics set to those values there. Maximum scattering. the opacity set to those values, flow jitter, and the last three options tick there as well. So I'm going to be painting some speckly dots into a new layer here with a, a white paintbrush that we just did. Just going to draw sort of in line with the hair lines there, both through the hair and just to the outside of it. So it's a little bit hard to see on YouTube, but it doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to sharpen those a little bit once I'm happy with them all. So filter menu, sharpen, and just sharpen. Well, hopefully you found this video interesting and that you can use these techniques in your own projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.